Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to make your own turrets in your Roblox game. Now, here's some three things you need to know. Make sure to make a barrel, a shooting part, and make the shooting part in the barrel, and that's how it should look like. And add a base. And the rest, you can customize it. So, and then you're going to add an NPC, which I have right here. Make sure to delete all the scripts. Now this will work with your character too, but for now I'm just going to use a test part because I'm not trying to go in and you know, waste 20 minutes of your time. But this is going to be a very quick tutorial, and yeah, I'll show you how. So once you have created your own part and you know the turret, we're going to make our own bullet. Let's make it not anchored, sorry about that. And then just call it bullet, put it into replicated storage, and then make a folder in um, what's it called workspace and call it bullet folder. So that's where you can store our clone bullets. Now in your bell barrel, add a script, and let's get right into scripting. First off, we're gonna identify two services. One of the, actually one service and the bullet. So local replicated storage. So I'm very slow at typing today. Game get service. Um, oh yeah, just to mention, this was not created by me. This was credits to um, the Dev King. Oh yeah, let me remove that. So yeah, let's get into it. Some of the scripts are, some of the lines are mine, and sort of technically all of it is his. But let's get into it. So local replicated storage equals to game get service replicated storage, and local bullet equals to replicated store oh, replicated oh, I hate typing so much replicated storage finally wait for child and then look for bullet and through from bullet do local turn equals to script out parent which is this but I just call it as the thing so once you did local bullet, we're gonna go down twice and local shooting part equals to script dot parent dot shooting part. But another choice look to local bullet folder equals to game dot workspace wait for child and then find bullet folder. And then you're going to go down twice and do local fire ray. So this is where we configure our, you know, fire ray, bullet damage, bullet speed, and aggro distance, which I'll show you in a second. 0 0.5, local bullet damage is equal to 200, actually, no, 10. Local um, bullet speed is equal to 150. And then local aggro, and let's just spell it, distance is equal to 100. Now here's where, where we actually do the scripting. So while, wait, then firing in those punctuations, do local target is equal to nil. And after you do that, and you're gonna do four I comma V in pairs, and then you're gonna do game that workspace and then call on get children. I'm gonna add an extra part for me. And then you're gonna do local human is equal to V. Find first child. Uh humanoid. I hope I don't spell it wrong. Oops. Local torso. Actually I'm gonna make it a little face. Uh V Hold on, find first child, and then find Teresa. I keep on having these dumb errors. Not errors, but movements with the thing. So after that, after the torso, you're gonna do if human and torso, and human dot health. Um, less than zero then if torso the position now torso is equal 
uh, I mean, Torso, it found it in the NPC. Because it's looking for all the torsos that attract it. And after that, we're going to do minus turret dot position out of quotation mark. Do dot magnitude. I hope I spelled it right. And I hope not. I mean, I hope I did. Um, And then after that, we're going to do... Sorry, I keep forgetting. Uh, magnitude and then um, greater than aggro distance then local bullet uh, bullet ray is equal to ray dot new turret dot position comma torso dot position with quotation marks cuz hey, that's a way to do it and then do minus turret position, turn dot position. We're gonna do it the other way. And then you're gonna do dot unit, and then times aggro distance. Once you did that, I'm gonna make it a little larger. Vocal hit, comma, um, position is equal to game dot workspace now this is going to be a big word so find part on ray with ignore list i spelled it right um i have i have some of the words on my on roblox studio because i have two of them open one of them comes with the you know the words that i can't spell and then yeah Bullet ray, not bullet folder, but bullet ray, comma, um, punctuation, like the pointy punctuation, turret. Turret. Go down, if hit equals equals to torso, then target is equal to torso. Now, instead of identifying it as no, because no, technically we're not identifying it as anything, so nothing but then after it finds a character well, after it finds a model or a part that has either humanoid or torso in it it will start attacking it so let's do else if it doesn't find a uh, if it doesn't find a torso or a humanoid it will print that something's in the way something Oops, sorry. Something is in the way. Okay. And then on the third end, you're going to drop down one line. Actually, two lines. Let's do that. If target, then local torso equals to target, like we did before. Turn dot C frame is equal to C frame dot new. And then the punctuations, we're going to do dot posi uh, turn dot position, comma, torso dot position. And then local new bullet is equal to bullet. And then um, semicolon, like both of them are dots, clone. And after making a clone, we're going to do new bullet. So I'm going to copy this. New bullet dot position. Position. Equals to shooting part dot position. New bullet dot parent is going to be equal to the bullet folder. And then new bullet dot velocity. So velocity. After making the velocity, this is turned dot C frame dot look factor, so it looks from the four different angles, and then multiply by multiply bullet speed. Now we're gonna go down the line, and we're gonna make it where it damages um, the humanoid or the torso. So we're gonna do new bullet dot touched connect, and then 
uh, punctuation function. And then we're going to call one of the parameters or arguments object hit. And then after that, we're going to do local human is equal to object continue. Never knew that was a thing. Um, object equals to uh, local human equals to object hit dot parent uh, 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 semicolon two dots um, find first child and then humanoid if human then human take damage and then in here we're going to do bullet damage that should be it for our script. This is what you should have been written. And before I actually test this out, I'm going to add a part in. Oh, I just forgot. A friendly reminder. You're going to have to change up some of the C-frame positions. So, like, let me show you. So, like, this, where are the, all the C-frames? I swear I saw one. Yeah, but it's something with the C frames. I can tell by that. Now, if we run it, as you can see at the bottom left, uh, here I'll show up in the upper. He's something in the way. Then when you do this, oh, he's not anchor. <coughs> no, he doesn't have any new animations, so we gotta make him anchor. Run it. If we move it. As you can see, it makes this weird, like, type of rotation. I don't know how to fix it with that. But, yeah, that's what I said. You have to guys do something with the C-frames and the scripts in there. But, yeah, that's totally the script. You can, like, mess around with it. Yeah, just poor guy. Now, what I also scripted is, once it shoots, like, a dead person. No, sorry, not the folder. Once it finishes killing the NPC, it's not going to shoot it again because it's a dead NPC. So as you can see, even though if I make it closer. And then it won't print out anything because it's it already finished shooting the NPC. Which means there are no torso in the fire. I mean in the distance or the range. You could have changed it to range, but it's all good. And yeah, let's you make a bullet. I mean, that's how you make a turn. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button and subscribe for more daily content. Yeah, I know I haven't been posting in a while. But, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this um, this turn tutorial. Make sure to change some of the X and Ys so that, you know, it works. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.